Hey guys, today we're gonna fix this dripping faucet. It's a Moen, we bought it in 2004. And I'm gonna show you what you need to change, what tools you need, and what stores you can get the parts at. As you can see, this is a steady drip. And the water is warm, so it's, it's on the hot side. So first, what we're gonna need to do is shut off the water supply to the hot side. So you could, you could feel the holes and you'll know if it's the hot or cold side, if, if it's not labeled or you don't have that red or blue thing. Okay. So let's out, let out the pressure. So we verified it's the hot side, it stopped dripping. Cold side is still working. Okay. So now what we have to do is remove this piece right here. For that, we're gonna need an Allen wrench. Okay, so first you need to find the right Allen wrench. I have this multi-tool and the one I'm using is 330 seconds. Fits in there perfectly. <laughs> yeah, see how perfect it is? Okay, there we go. Uh, okay, so. You actually have to hold the handles. I'm gonna mount the camera before I start messing with that. But before you do that, if you know the model number of your faucet, whatever brand it is, Moen, Fister, American, Standard, um, you should get the replacement cartridge or the seals that you will need. Now, I'm a little bit meticulous. When I bought this house, I knew all the remodeling I was going to do. So I also knew what fixtures I was going to buy. So I had the model number of this exact faucet. If you don't have the exact model number, you'll do the same thing. You will remove the handle, okay? You'll tr first you turn off your water supply, remove the handle, and then you'll take the cartridge out and you'll go to Lowe's or Home Depot. I actually bought this at Lowe's. And you'll see, you'll try to find the replacement parts for your faucet, okay? Or if you could somehow find the model number, it might be underneath, if you go from the underside, maybe you could find something underneath like a label. I haven't really seen one on mine, but it might be there. Or you could maybe visually try to find the same one online on Google Images, just type in Moen. Uh, for instance, this I would type in Moen, um, Chrome, bathroom faucet, and I would just look through Google Images just to find to see if I could find the model number of the exact faucet. So anyways, let me mount the camera. We're gonna take this off and mount this thing somehow, which looks a little crazy. So we'll see, we'll see how it works. Okay, so I'm gonna grab the handle with one hand and with the other, try to find that little, hold on. Try to find that Allen screw, okay. It's not really working. Might be better with just a single Allen wrench. There we go. You want to make sure you have a nice tight fit with your Allen wrench. You don't want to strip the screw and then be screwed, basically. <laughs> All right. So we take that off. And wow. That looks nice and pretty. So let me take this out. So does that just pop out? Not exactly. Okay. So let me put this aside. There is a ring, a metal ring around here. And at first I thought it's like a bolt, but it's not. So you have to use some vice grips. Okay. Okay. 
Loosener up. Okay, take that off. Still doesn't want to pop off, okay? So now, I guess you grab it. Try to lift it up. There we go. Ooh, some water came out, okay. Okay. You know what? I'm gonna shut off the cold water supply as well. Hey guys, at the top here, look, if I put my finger in, water pops out, okay? I did shut off the cold water supply. I'm not sure if cold is somehow seeping through, but that definitely prevented more water from building up in here. Next is the cartridge. And over here, there's a little notch. Hopefully you can see it on camera, like a little tooth, okay? And over here, actually, let me bring you closer. Okay, here we go. Let's look for that notch. I mean, the little tooth. With the flash, it's kind of hard to see. Anyways, it's right there. And over here, there's a notch right there, right? So basically, we're going to match it up. We're going to shove this in. Get it to get it to sit right in that area and press it into that notch, right? There we go. I hope that looks good on video, but basically now the plastic is flush against the brass because that little tooth, which is hard to get on camera in, with these angles, uh, it went into the notch. So now we reinstall this ring. Okay, we're gonna fasten it with the vice grips. Okay, we're not gonna go too crazy. We don't wanna break anything. Well, that actually looks, that feels pretty good right there. Nice and tight. Next, we take our handle. Let me get the handle on there first. Should be somewhere like this. Huh. <laughs> okay. Well, you can see that little pattern in there. There's a notch pointed to this side. Okay. There we go. <laughs> Had a little issue uh, aligning it properly. And here comes the Allen screw. Okay, don't go too crazy because it just basically presses against the plastic. It's just so you don't pull it off. All right. Now, now we're going to see if we're going to flood the house. So we're going to turn off the faucets. Um, let me pull you out. There we go. Okay, so first let's turn on the hot faucet. Okay, so hot faucet's on, there is no drip. You are not dripping, so that's good. Let's put the... Okay. 
and verify it's working properly and clean your hands <laughs> because the cartridge has some kind of oil on it some lubrication okay hot was on we turned it off nice now we're gonna go back turn on a cold like these little quarter turn valves okay so cold verify it's cold turn it off all right we're golden thanks for watching and i'll catch you in the next one